We can all now see that jobs that are never celebrated are absolutely essential to keep our society going. Think of the refuse workers, the supermarket shelf stackers, the delivery drivers, the cleaners. Those grades of work are often dismissed as low skilled. Low skilled. But I ask them this question. Who are we least able to do without in a crisis? The refuse collector or the billionaire hedge fund no. manager? Who is actually doing more for our society at this very moment? Let's value people for the contribution they make. Respect the skill of the cleaner, the refuse worker, the postal delivery worker, all of those. Let's have respect for those that actually are part of the glue of our society. This virus knows no national boundaries and neither should our capacity for compassion and care for our fellow human beings know any national boundaries either. The internationalism of the doctors from Cuba who have gone to fight the virus in Italy is inspirational, as is the action of the European Union, which has given 20 million euros to help the crisis in Iran at the present time, despite the sanctions. It's a scandal that sanctions have prevented many Iranians accessing vital medical supplies, putting each other at risk and inevitably putting all of us at risk. The old trade union slogan goes, an injury to one is an injury to all. United we stand, divided we fall. And, Madam Deputy Speaker, people across our country know this. So many are showing such compassion in the face of adversity. Just look at how people are coming together, mutual aid groups being springing up all over the country, thousands of people organising to protect their communities. It's inspirational to see people who've never spoken to each other before suddenly getting together in this time of crisis and realising they live in the same street, they need that help and support for each other. It's that spirit which will take us forward. After this crisis, there is no doubt that our society and our economy will be and have to be very, very different. We must learn the lessons from the crisis and ensure that our society is defined as a society by solidarity and compassion rather than insecurity, fear and inequality. Yeah.